Hello, welcome to my video tutorial on how to get Darmesh's Assignment 5 working on the school computer so with uh, both sound effects and music working. Uh, this video is intended for Rick to be used on the 2085 computers, but I'm pretty sure they work in 2095 as well, or other computers. Uh, the first thing you need to do is download the audio drivers, since they're not installed on these computers. So, on the link provided, it'll bring you to this Dell site and then you can download the Sigmatel drivers from this location so you go ahead and download those and save them uh, I already have these downloaded for the sake of time so go ahead and run the audio install uh, click continue uh, default location is fine all that is alright um, and it'll go ahead and launch the wizard you can just hit next and it'll update the audio drivers I actually already have these audio drivers installed because uh, because I'm recording with this microphone anyways. So it'll say installation is done, right? So I'll just say I'll restart my computer later. Let me go ahead and close that. Now we need to go and enable the audio service. So let's first go to the control panel. Okay, and then we'll go to administrative tools. And then we'll go to services. Uh, from the list of services, you can sort them by name and scroll down to the Windows Audio Service. Right now, it'll be disabled at first, so we'll need to right-click it, go to Properties. We'll see. I'll say Service Status would be disabled or stopped. Um, we'll need to set it from Disabled, switch it to Automatic, and hit Start, and it'll take a little uh, second, and then it'll start the audio service, and then we're done. Now we have audio working on this computer. So if we launch our assignment, sound effects will work because they use the wave mapper. But the MIDI's won't work yet because there is no MIDI synthesizer on these computers, which sucks. So in order to work around that, there is a trick we can do. Uh, first, we must extract uh, the assignment somewhere. Um, you must you must put the folder in a destination without a space in it. Um, the reason for this is because uh, some of the I guess the strings uh, didn't have quotations around them to allow for spaces. Uh, more details will be provided uh, in the description. Okay, So we'll just move it directly to the root of the C drive. And there it is. So there's the uh, file path there. Alright, now to get music working, uh, we need to open Windows Media Player. Um, we're not going to actually play the song through Media Player, we're just going to have it open uh, one of the MIDI files to have the MIDI wrapper going. And then we'll just move it to the end. So the MIDI is still open, but it's not actually playing from Media Player. So we can just minimize that and load up the assignment. Um, so first thing we need to do is enable our macros. You can trust me there, there's nothing going to go on. And yeah, we can go ahead to the game. And here we'll start off. Um, to initiate the first music track is when you enter the world area. So if we go down to the right here. And we can see we got the music working. Uh, we can also control the audio from media player to make it louder, quieter. Uh, and that's it. We can minimize that. Um, we can go check the sound effects. If we try to bust this guy out of prison before we have the key. Now we can hear it there. I'll actually turn down the audio a little bit so you can the music a little bit so you can hear the the key noise yeah. and that's it um, stay tuned to the video explaining on how to beat the game from start to finish uh, yeah and that's it